All right, so let's practice what we learned in the last video, and we're going to go ahead and make a new blank document again. So I'm just going to tap on blank. If you were already in a document, you could have gone to File, New Document. Okay, and we're going to call this one uh, My Volcano. Man, I can't type today. Report. Okay, so My Volcano Report. Go ahead and do that on your end so that you've got it. And then go to the mytechbadges.com, where you're actually where you're watching the video right now is the exact place. I don't know why I need to tell you to go there. But anyhow, I will have all the text you need, and you will copy and paste that to this document. Since this is not really a writing class, this is a how to use docs class, I've done all the writing for you. You're welcome. All right, so once my cursor is blinking in here, I can just go ahead and go to edit, paste, or do uh, command V on my... Um, my keyboard if I wanted to as well. Okay, so that's what it's telling me to do right there. Command V. And look at this. You got two pages of text already done for you. So we've got that in there. Okay, so let's really talk about now how to format text. Uh, I, I'm going to just kind of show you the basics around. There's lots you can do here. But let's go ahead and start off by uh, with these ones. We're just going to make them bold. So I'm just going to select these headings here and make them bold. Okay, so you go ahead and do the same thing. Sometimes they're just one word, sometimes they're two, and you can see what I'm doing here. I just select it. I come up here to the B here for bold. If you hover your mouse on top of something, it'll tell you what that will do. Okay, and I think I got all of them there. But now this first one is really more than a, you know, just a heading here. Now we could go up here and we could tell it to be a heading in here. These are these are pre-made styles that we have, and I can see I could go ahead and tell that to be a title and you see how much bigger it is. But I'm really, I'm going to just change that back. Let me go here to undo. That changes it back. I'm going to do it myself because I really want to show you on your end. First off, I'm one of those old school people. I believe that titles should be centered. So I'm going to go up here to my formatting of the text and my alignment. I'm going to tell it, once I have it highlighted, see I have it highlighted. Oops, 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 undo. I don't know what I did there, but I had something going on. Okay, so I've got it highlighted. I'm going to tell it I want it centered. Okay, so now we've got it centered. It's a little on the tiny side, so let me go ahead and make that bigger. Ooh, I like that, but like bigger. Oh, even better. Maybe just a little bit more. Okay, so that's really nice. Now, um, also, I think I'm going to put my name underneath that there. So I'm going to put by uh, Brad Flickinger. Okay, so of course that should be centered underneath there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go after my name and put an extra enter in there, just so I've got a little bit of breathing room there. Now that's looking good. I kind of want to change the color of that. I'm tempted, so I'm going to highlight it, go up here to the text color, and let's make that like a dark blue. No, people are going to think it's a link if it's a dark blue. Let me go with maybe a red. Volcanoes, yeah, this is going to freak people out. Okay, so that's got that looking good, and I think that's kind of, we've talked about everything there. Um, these headings I want to make just a little bit bigger, so let's go ahead and bump those up to to 14, okay, highlight those and bump those to 14 in the font size. Yeah, that's looking much better here. Okay. And then these ones here, we're, we're going over the different types of volcanoes. Let's make those bold. See, I wanted them to stand out from the headings and that's why I made the headings bigger. I wanted these ones just to be bolded because people really like bolded things. That's what draws their eyes in. Oh, you see I got an extra, it's called a return, an extra uh, line in here. I'm gonna just go ahead and put that back. Oh, oh we got another one here. This one is, um, it should be a heading. What do we say, 14 for that? Interesting facts about volcanoes. Okay, I think we're done for this video. That kind of is how to format text. Oh, one thing I didn't go over and that was changing the font. If I did want to do the, say, the title in a different font, I could go up here to Arial and I could choose uh, something like Impact. Uh, normally, we don't really change a lot of fonts in a report, but sometimes, you know, your teacher might want it. Um, I've, I've had some teachers say they want things in, in Times New Roman. I used to be that way when I was a teacher. So in that case, I could select all by going uh, Command A on the keyboard, and I could change everything to Times New Roman down here, uh, Times New Roman. And, and then, you know, so then the teacher would be happy, okay, with that. But anyhow, that's, that's how you change fonts, that's how you change size, that's how you change 
the format of it, whether it's bold, italics, underlined, and the color of it, and then also change your alignment. So that's what we've kind of covered in this video. And in the next ones, we're going to get deeper into how to make this report look really, really good.